Hey everybody, it's Video Bob. Regular viewers to my channel know that I generally focus on cars, luxury cars, exotic cars, movie cars, things like that. But something that a lot of car guys have in common is that we love mechanical devices, like watches and pens. Now, I've been a little bit of a pen collector and I generally stick to Mont Blanc. Uh, I love Mont Blanc's products and I'm gonna be featuring some other things from them soon. And I've featured some of their pens in the past as well as some of my unique Rolex watches. But I, well, I sold a couple of my exotic cars recently and I decided to use a little of the profits to buy myself a few early Christmas presents, I guess, a few treats. Now, I'm a huge Elvis fan. I have a TCB tattooed on my arm. I think that that's a theme with a lot of car guys. I love the things that he represents. I love um, not only Elvis's music, but who he was as a person and how he just represented uh, America to me. And I love uh, a lot of vintage things like you know, my 1955 Rockola jukebox that we restored and I love listening to old vinyl records and well, I love Elvis. I even have a, our spare room converted to my Elvis room. I'm probably not the only one who's done that. So today we're going to talk about two different pens. I decided to make one video of the two pens even though they're different brands because I think that anybody that would be interested in one would also be interested in the other. I have one of the new Mont Blanc Elvis uh, pens. Uh, this particular one is the Rollerball. I couldn't get the fountain pen. They didn't have it available at the time. Um, but I think that the, the two pens are almost identical. The only difference is that one is going to have a Rollerball uh, in the end instead of a uh, nib. But this one this is really spectacular. This is the Monte Grappa. This is the Elvis Presley uh, special edition pen. This thing is amazing. So let's unbox these, look at the two, and, and you know see the differences of them. Check them out. Okay, let's start with the Mont Blanc. Now, I have already removed the outer sleeve of the box, the protective sleeve, so we'll go ahead and just get this out. Get a nice little booklet here telling you all about Elvis. I'm sure you need to read all about him. Okay, here's the box. And there's the pen. Now, some unique characteristics about this guy. Uh, you'll notice that from the shape of this, it is in the shape of a spark plug. Uh, they did this to, you know, honor his love of cars. I guess, you know, he was known for giving away Cadillacs and Lincolns. So it is a spark plug. Now the limited edition version, that's almost $4,000, is all metal. I, I've seen it and held it in person and it is massive and it is amazing. This one, the rollerball goes for about a thousand bucks. I wanted to say it was 900 and whatever. I don't know if the price is on the box. Let me look. I don't think it says, I th you know, it was. It, it's like a thousand bucks. The fa fountain pen is a little bit more. Um, you have an EP here, a little EP there, and this kind of signifies the side of his glasses. Remember his gold glasses that he would wear? You also have Elvis up on the top of the mountain cap here. And uh, of course your serial number. Here it says Elvis has left the building engraved. Um, there's some other engraving here. I don't know if I can focus in tight enough to see. Um, what it says, my little eyes. It says imagination uh, is a dream. What does that say? I can't read it. Oh, a dream with a V8 engine. Okay, there we go. All right, uh, nice texture. As you can see, I really like the texture. It's a big pen. It's a little bit too big to be carrying around with you. You're not gonna be able to fit it in your shirt pocket, I think, uh, but nobody's gonna carry this around anyway. Now, this is a rollerball, and uh, you can't post most of their pins. I mean, that doesn't really go on there. It doesn't stick. It really annoys me that Mont Blanc doesn't make pins with caps that post. That's one thing about their pins I don't like. This, uh, let's see, oh, it unscrews from the top, and your rollerball cartridge goes in. I have a purple in there. I like the purple for this one put any color you like in there but you know just in case you've never seen how this works um, the rollerball cartridges 
have a screw end on the end as a threaded end as you can see and that goes in there and then screws into place which keeps it nice and firm now i will say out of all mont blanc pens probably their roller balls are the best writing you know if i if i wanted to um, write something on here i'd say uh like and share okay so uh, you know it's a it's easy to write with great pen but you're not going to carry this around let's face it wonderful pen now the difference between um this one and the fountain obviously the fountain is a is a piston filler with a nice nib on it um you know it's about a hundred or two more. I kind of wish I had gotten the fountain pen. Obviously, they didn't have one. I may go ahead and get one in the future, but it's the exact same pen. The only thing that would be different was if you get the twist, the ballpoint. Obviously, it doesn't have a cap, and this comes to a point instead of having the spark plug end. I don't think it's as elegant uh, as this, you know. Um, I mean, obviously, a real collector would want to have all three or all four if you were to get the limited. The Limited, they only made 1935, uh, 1,935, the year it was born, 1935, uh, and they're like 3,800 bucks. And I am considering getting one, uh, and it is fantastic. It is, It blows this one out of the water. But anyway, this should be available at most boutiques and online at montblanc.com. I'll post the link in the description below. Let's take a look at the real big winner here, the Montegrappa. Now, when it comes to packaging, Nobody beats these guys. Look at this thing. I mean, this is massive. I gotta scoop this out of the way. I've already taken the uh, protective sleeve off of the box. It comes in a big box, but we'd be here all day unboxing this thing. You gotta take this out of there. Now you've got this bag with another case inside. Unbelievable. The case, by the way, has leather fringe like his jackets. Elvis always liked the color white. Many of his costumes were white. Uh, they specially brought in white purses for his funeral procession. So when I think about Elvis, this is what I wanted to say about that other pen. And I should have it handy. Let me grab it. I I'm not really happy with... Um, I'm not really happy with Mont Blanc's representation of this Elvis. I mean, this black is cool. He wore black in his 68 comeback special. I like the gold, you know, because he was known for that. Spark plug, I don't know if Elvis is known as a car guy. He bought a lot of cars, he gave a lot of cars away, but he didn't build cars. He didn't work on cars. So spark plug, you know, I would have saved a spark plug for somebody like maybe Carol Shelby or somebody who really got hands dirty in a car, you know? I mean, if you didn't tell me this was an Elvis pen, I wouldn't know that it was an Elvis pen. And that's what I'm disappointed about. Where's the TCB? Where's the bejeweled eagle? Where is, you know, what is Elvis about this? It's a beautiful pen. It says Elvis on the tip. It's a Mont Blanc, of course I'm gonna buy it. But I'm disappointed with the design. Nobody asked me when they put this thing together. You know what I mean? <laughs> Come on. I'm going to show you a real Elvis pen. You want an Elvis pen? This is an Elvis pen. Look at this gorgeous thing. I, this box is something. Now, by the way, what am I supposed to do with this giant box? Come on, Matagrapa. It's beautiful, but this is too much. Okay, so you get the, then you pull this out. You've got this little pad to lay the pen down on. Then... You've got a, yet another leather case, and the pin is inside this plastic bag here. And just real quickly, before we get to the pen, I'm gonna tease you a little bit. Look at this, you lift this up. You got all this stuff under here. You've got, you've got your books, all this information, more books, more information. Comes with some cartridges because this is a cartridge and a converter as well. But what a what a presentation, right? Like, look at all of this. Isn't that something? Okay, scoot this back. All right. 
This is how you make an Elvis pin. First of all, right there, look, Elvis, right? Look at that TCB. Look at the jewels, right? Check out the top of that. There he is in his signature white jumpsuit singing, all right? Look at the representation of, of, of his Aloha suit. And we're gonna get to this here in just a second. But isn't that something? I wonder if I can, if I can zoom in a little bit more for you. Look at the TCB with the jewels. Now this pen is a retail of about $3,000. I picked it up for about 1,500 bucks or rather a little over a thousand pounds. I'm not sure if it's currently available uh, from Monterrapa. I found it on eBay actually. You notice this white pearlescent celluloid. These are all made by hand. Look at the pearl shine. Oh my God, it's beautiful. All right, this is uh, one of 500 pieces made in Italy by hand. Okay, now, look at this. It's gorgeous. Wait till you see this nib. Now, I want to show you something here. I want to show you an attention to detail. You can post this cap. Look at how it lines up perfectly. Look at that with the nib with it's it's perfect look at that look at the alignment there right okay check out this nib let me zoom in on this can you see that this is a gold medium ballpoint nib with elvis right there now this is a, uh, I forget, does it, I think it unscrews here. I've got it on there really tight. Yes, it comes off here. You can use a cartridge or a converter, comes with both. I have a Mont Blanc purple cartridge in there. I, I like Mont Blanc ink. Okay. But you can use the converter if you like, or the cartridge. And it's, you know, Give me a sec here. Let me grab this piece of paper here. It's kind of hard to write from that angle. But anyway, you can see you've got you've got some great control. It writes wonderfully. I mean, it's you can you can give some nice wide or very thin. It, it's a great it's a great pen. I mean, I can sit here and brag about it all day long. But you know, pay attention, Mont Blanc. This is how you make an Elvis pen. That no one needs to tell me that that's an Elvis pen when I pick it up and look at it. I mean, it's just gorgeous. The way it posts. And it's small enough you could carry this with you. Not that you would. But it is thin enough that it would fit in your pocket. Um, I can't get over the TCB in this thing. You know, I have a, I have a TCB on my arm. And um, I've had it for many years, so it's a little bled through. But... That's a beautiful pen. I, I am really honored to own this pen. And I thought that I would, and let me show you side by side, you know, we'll put them side by side and get an idea of them. I mean, if I, if I showed you these two pens and I said, okay, which one of these is an Elvis pen, <laughs> right? I mean, and I hate to knock Mont Blanc because I am a Mont Blanc fanboy, okay? I love their stuff. I own a lot of their pens. I carry one every day I have with me for 20 years. I've never left the house without my Mont Blanc pen. But I gotta tell you, Montegrappa, you are stealing me as a customer. Wow, they make some good stuff. So uh, if you are a big time uh, pen fan, check these guys out. Very impressed with their work. All right guys, these are my two uh, Elvis pens. Just wanted to share this with some other pen and Elvis fans out there. There will be more stuff like this coming. I may get the special edition of this, even though I'm not a big giant fan of the particular design. 
However, the limited edition version of the Mont Blanc, it is, it's all done in silver. It weighs a ton, and it does have a representation of the Eagle Aloha suit on the back, and it says uh, live on stage, and it is a much more representative piece, and quite frankly, I'm disappointed. Mont Blanc, these should have been done in white steel enamel, like your other uh, white and chrome Meisterstuck that I've seen. Should have done it that way with the gold here. I like the idea of using the side of the sunglasses here for the clip. That's great. And I'm cool with the way the top was done. But the whole spark plug thing and the whatever, it just doesn't, it doesn't say Elvis to me. I'd rather, how about maybe blue suede or put it in a blue suede box or maybe even the pink of his 1954 Cadillac that he gave to his mother. There's just so many other things that would have said Elvis to me. And if you're gonna do black, it should have been the diamond stitch quilting of his comeback special jacket or something. You know what I mean? It's like, I'm just not seeing Elvis in this like I am with this. But then again, this is a much more expensive piece. Anyway, I think I've made my point. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, we're going to get back to the car content that I normally do on here. Uh, but, hey, go through my other videos. I have other videos of the Mar Marilyn Monroe pen, the James D. Um, and Rolexes, other cool stuff like that if you're into this kind of thing. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Video Bob. <laughs>